Hi guys, we are going to work on some folk art motifs. We're gonna sketch and instead of doing thumbnails, we're just gonna fill our pages. So we're gonna make a spread and try to fill in the white space. We are going to use these later, so um, erase you know anything that you don't end up liking as you go. Take your time, pause the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is a little bird in the corner here a round shape for the head and then come back down and do the tail and I'll give it a little beak and an eye a little pupil in there and some feet the folk art we've got really simple shapes we're gonna draw some animals that um, are not meant to look like the exact actual animals, so we're really stylizing them and adding some shapes and details. And I would encourage you to try to draw your own patterns and shapes within your animals. So you can work with me and slowly begin to add some other shapes. And you can always go back and add some details after. And then I'm going to do a little flower on top of this bird. So maybe I'll do some hearts over here to fill the space. The idea is that you're working outwards. So maybe in the back of this guy We'll add a flower and leave a little space between them and the pe petals. So now that I've got this area empty, I'll keep kind of moving along, thinking of some different shapes and animals. I might try another flower style, a smaller one this time, and I might fill in the center. Play around with where you put your shapes when you have some small empty spaces in between you can work on adding vines or little shapes like hearts or really any shape that you are interested in Maybe I'll put a little owl up here. So you can draw any animals that you want to as well and draw them in your own way. So my little owl here, that's his body and I'll give him kind of a scalloped head here, ears. Tiny little pointy beak, big eyes, I actually want to erase, make his head a little bit bigger. Well, like we said, this is a sketchbook spread. You might try to draw some animals and practice doing it in a few different ways. Add his wings on there. And some scallop pattern for his feathers. Give 
and tiny little feet. And maybe I'll try some more tulip type flower shapes. And maybe on an angle this time, if you can arrange your shapes. To fit into the space a little bit. Leaves on the bottom. Turning your paper can help you draw some things on an angle. Maybe I'll do a little bear here in the corner. So I have kind of a funky style of drawing animals. You can draw them any cartoony way that you like. There's tons of how to draw animals worksheets and step-by-step -step tutorials online. The main goal is just that you have something cute that sort of looks like an animal. Sometimes I'll give my animals little tiny eyes. Sometimes I'll give them big eyes. Don't forget the belly and the ears. And maybe I'll try to squeeze a little flower into this section. So just think of things in nature. You do flowers, you vegetables. <laughs> Um, bugs, leaves, vines, I'll add some curved leaves here to take up the space. Hearts. Well, some people think hearts are just a girly kind of design, but I think they're a pleasing shape to fill in some space. You could use triangles, squares, diamonds. I'm trying to think of another animal I want to put in this corner. Maybe I'll do a little dog. My cat kind of looked like a dog, so give it a go and see. Maybe a little bit of a longer snout. Come down and give it two front paws. The back paw. Come around, give it some ears. little snout, big eye, and this looks like a bunny to me. <laughs> Make this one a bunny. So I pretty much filled my whole paper now with animals and flowers, so I'll take a break and go to the next step. So I'm gonna stick with kind of warm colors one of the neon pinks and then um, a reddish color and my bright green and yellow. 
And I'm gonna use, start with my green and color in different spots over the entire page. I'm definitely gonna come in and add more of this green before I do, but I would like to try to add some other colors too. So maybe I'll go to my red and color in some of my flowers. So as I'm coloring with any color, I'm looking to see if there's a flow across the page. So I'm trying to get a little bit in all sides of the spread to make your eye move around the page. 